The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by High Pressure Pneumatics, Air Guns of Arizona, Baker Air Guns, and of course, Air Gun Pro Shop. Check out the links below for all of your air gun needs. Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor channel. I am Chad Kettner, your Air Gun Advisor today, and we are looking at a brand new to the market pistol. It is a semi-auto by Evanex called the Viper. And does this thing ever have a bite? So inside the box, you're gonna have two of these. These magazines are seven count magazines, rotary style, spring loaded, very easy to use. You have a female disconnect that you can use if you don't have one. Most of you at home should already have these. You got some breech seals, a rebuild kit, and all of this comes to us today from the guys and gals at Airgun Pro Shops right here in Ohio. Now, let's talk about the pistol because that's what you're really here to see and hear about. Take a look at this thing. Things that stand out to me, first and foremost, the walnut grips. I absolutely love the fact that Avanex stepped up their game and threw some wood on this platform. Second, you have two cylinders, one here and one here. You probably might recognize this build uh, from the Pantera. The Pantera has a cylinder up top as well as a cylinder down below. The up top cylinder does cover the barrel. So it surrounds the barrel, providing a little bit more stability. Um, you're gonna get probably, not probably, you are gonna get about 14 shots, maybe 16 or 17 shots depending how full you fill those cylinders. And you're gonna to wanna to fill it up to about 250 bars, what I've been doing uh, and having a lot of fun with it too. So also up top here, they have included open sights. So you do not have to run out and get yourself a red dot. If you wanna get the pistol and then get a red dot separately or a little scope for it separately, you can do that. I found that these open sights are averaging around 15, maybe 20 yards in distance for me. Uh, now that's gonna be different for everybody depending upon your pellet weight, your speeds, how you have it set up and adjusted. So keep that in mind. That was just for the testing that I did. On the back side here, you have a hammer screw so you can adjust it just a little bit. I wouldn't mess with it personally. I think it's fine just out of the box. If we flip this around to the other side, you're gonna also notice you have your safety right here. Very easy to read safety. Very easy. And then I'm gonna come back to this side and you're gonna notice that there's a little window right here where I'm pointing, you see that window, you can see the mechanism sliding around inside there. That does require a little bit of lubricant in the magazine or in the magazine, in the pamphlet that comes with it. They suggest either a small squirt of WD-40 or Ballastol. My preference would be Ballastol. That's what the fine guys and girls over at Airgun Pro Shop recommended to me too, that they use Ballastol for theirs. Some of the other things I like about this, look at that. Got a little uh, stamps on here as far as, uh, what is that, the spade right there? That's kind of sharp looking, I think. And the fit and finish on this looks really, really good. Now, one other thing before we get out and do some testing with this, you'll notice that it does have a Picatinny rail here. Now this Picatinny rail, is great, but also it does move a little bit on the back side there. You zoom in, you can see that a little bit moving. So when you do, you have to have that movement because you're gonna be able to cock the semi-auto this way, which I kind of like the feeling of that. Kind of reminds me of like a 1911 or something along those lines. But that does mean if you put a red dot on here that you could get a little bit of play. And so to solve that for me, when I shot it, I just kept it up in the thumb up position on the back side here, you can see that, and just holds that slide a little bit tighter and keeps everything lined up for you when you are going to shoot. Have an X. Yeah. How can you do this? This is great. A quick disconnect probe that doesn't come out. It's fixed to the pistol. You guys have been listening to us all along. I love that. I don't have to worry about a fill probe now, which is what all air gun companies should be doing. All right, I'll get off my uh, soapbox here. The other thing on here, on the fr front here, you have a threaded muzzle, one half by 20. So if you wanna put a zero dB on here or whatever you want to quiet down, like I mentioned earlier, it does have a little bit of bark. I'll be throwing a zero dB on here for my testing down at the range. 
And finally, let's talk about shot count. I was getting with my testing about 14 to 16, maybe 17 shots. Uh, and when you get to that last shot, you really know because it kind of rapid fires, it goes, makes that kind of noise, similar to if Old Crossman 600, if you guys are into those, which I would highly recommend if you like some vintage air guns that are also semi-auto, the Crossman 600 is awesome. But that is how you know when you are out of air and it's time to refill. And you can avoid that by just counting your shots. In my case, I would do two magazines, refill, and then go back to shooting. And that, uh, that works perfectly because two magazines, you're gonna run out of 14 shots and then fill, refill the magazines, and you're good to go again without any other interruptions. So awesome little platform here. I was getting about 19 foot-pounds of energy right out of the box, and I would take that at the end all the way down to about 13 foot-pounds of energy by the end of the 14th shot. This is a non-regulated air gun, and that's fine for this distance. When you're shooting 15, 20 yards, uh, maybe even out to 20 yards if you're just practicing target shooting at cans and whatnot, that is a very, very good setup for us. So. Let's get this down to the range so I can show you exactly what you can expect with this pistol out of the box. Hey air gunners, before we go down to the range, I really want to take a second to remind you to keep your air guns, your firearms, or anything that could be considered dangerous locked up. Today we're going to be using the Secure It Safe here in the studio. That's where I keep all my test items. And I do that because I don't want any little hands or anybody that shouldn't be getting a hold of these things getting into my air gun. So keep that in mind. Great little setup here. We'll be talking about more of that in a future video. Just as promised down here at the range, shooting the 22 caliber Evan X Viper. This time we're going out 20 yards, shooting with the zero dB moderator, because this got a little bark. It got the Axion Optics red dot sight, in a pesting situation at 20 yards. Let's see what we can do. We got old crow out there. Nobody likes old crows. Let's see what we can do. I think I pulled that one just a little bit. There we go. Not bad at 20 yards. I think that crow has it in, except for maybe that one that I pulled just a little bit. I'll have to get a closer look down there. Can't see a whole lot through a red dot sight anyway. But there you have it. Evan X Viper, 22 caliber, semi-auto. It's a blast to shoot. Got to check him out. Use the links down below. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets fly straight. And we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.